Well, it's that time of year when um, I'm very busy in the conservatory planting lots of seeds. And one of the tools that I found very useful um, for me in this process is biodynamics. Now, biodynamics has a lot of stuff going on around it. It's uh, rooted in Steiner's work from 100 odd years ago. And some of the language can be quite interesting. And there's a, f a, a few strange recipes in there. Now, I first came across it when I was teaching in Sweden. I went to teach a course, a permaculture course, in conjunction with some nature awareness. And the person who was living there taught the nature awareness bit. I taught the permaculture bit. And uh, essentially, there was a big wooden barn that was our space. And there was no refrigeration in it. So all the food came in and uh, it sat around for a few days and then eventually we, we would eat it. And one of the, I remember one day we looked at this lettuce which was about five days old <laughs> and so uh, picked it up and said, look, this looks like it's still in the ground. It looked absolutely amazing. It was so, such an amazing lettuce. Uh, we had a picture taken of us <laughs> with this lettuce in between. It had not been in the fridge or anything, but five days after it had been delivered, let alone who knows when cut, it just looked this vibrant, thing that you would love to eat. So I thought, well, definitely worth investigating. Other people have come to me and said, biodynamics, yeah, that's really interesting. Um, so I thought I started playing with it, but I'm playing with it on a very basic level because as a vegan, quite a lot of the recipes um, are a little bit strange, they involve you know, pig skulls, stuff with this flower head and such. But there's, there's a calendar, a biodynamic calendar, and I very much use that. So, um, if you want to investigate some more, so it comes from uh, Maria Toon's biodynamic calendar. So that's been going for quite a long time. And here is the calendar. And it's based on a bunch of things to do with the heavens and so on. Um, and there's also to do with the moon. I'm not going to go into the fine details. This is just about why it works for me. So essentially what you have is four main categories which you might put your seeds in based upon what is it you're wanting. So you have your roots, your flowers, your fruits and your leaves. And on a given day it will tell you which of those things to be planting or transplanting or doing things to. Um, and sometimes there's a big grey bar saying don't do anything because it would be really bad. Um, now I, don't, I still don't know, it's early days for me, I've done this for a, a year and this is my second season. It's early days to say does it make a difference and um, because we're growing food for ourselves I don't really have space for me to be experimenting and saying well does that grow better than this other one that I've planted on a different day? I don't know. But the bit that does work for me is the organisational bit. So what I've ended up doing is I've sorted my seeds into the different categories depending on what they are. So firstly it makes seeds easier to manage. So what have we got at the front here? I probably haven't sorted this out yet. That's my um, garden diary. So that's leaves. Okay, so leaves needs to go to the back, which brings us to, that's fruits. Okay, that goes to the back. Roots, okay, so today we're on roots. So roots is in the front. Uh, that's followed by flowers, leaves, and then fruits, okay. So the way I remember it is if you start with anything, something begins with F, so flowers. So flowers, F, L, L is for leaf. So flowers are followed by leaves, which is then followed by the other F, which is fruits, which is followed by F, R, roots. Okay, so even if they get mixed up, I know where I'm supposed to be. So in the front here I have uh, my roots, so parsnips uh, is right at the, right at the front because this is why I'm doing this month. In fact, I need to change this because it's just gone into May. Uh, and then I have a card there. It says next month and beyond. So if it's not this month, it goes behind. So every month I go through these, which I will do in a moment, and sort out what is it I'm sowing this month. So it's, it's really easy uh, that I can see what I've got to do this month um, and get on with it. Now, the bit that really works for me is that if I look at the calendar, the sowing calendar, and it says, Okay, you've got to sow this by five o'clock this evening, or you've got to wait for another nine days. I think, well, normally I couldn't be bothered, but <laughs> I'm not going to wait another nine days, so I'm going to do it now. So I found it to be a really good 
motivational tool um, and I'm yet to see how much of a difference it makes to the planting but I do still remember that biodynamic lettuce.